Hi guys, this is Miss Kate here. I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy during this crazy time of quarantine. I know how tempting it can be to stay inside and have fun on your video games and staring at your screens, but I encourage you guys to just kind of take a deep breath and spend your time outside and with family and um, doing normally things that you want to have time to do and still making sure you're finding time to be creative and have some fun and still learn. Um, so today what we're going to be doing for our STEAM project, this will help you guys go outside and find some fun creative things to do. Um, for our STEAM project today we're going to be talking about making observations. Now making observations is something that all scientists have to do. And so today we're going to tap into those scientist skills I know you all have and we're going to make our own observations. So our first step today is go ahead and grab your journal and a couple crayons and we're going to go and I encourage you guys to go outside and sit in your lawn, your backyard, even just on your driveway and I want you to find a nice spot to sit and um, hopefully it's nice weather out. <laughs> If not, you guys can do this from your house too and you can sit in like your living room. But what you're going to do is you're just gonna take about two to three minutes with your journal and I want you to write down everything that you see, hear, smell, or feel. Okay, so if you're sitting outside, I want you to think about do you hear birds? Do you hear people? Do you hear cars? Is it windy? What, is, and what does that sound like? Um, is it loud or some of the sounds more quiet? And if you're sitting in the grass or on the sidewalk or a chair, how does it feel? Is the grass itchy? Is it is it still a little damp? Was it raining the night before? Um, or are you sitting on a chair that has kind of like a softer material or something like that? Um, think about different smells. Is your neighbor cutting their grass? Um, do you smell like dirt? Do you smell, was your neighbor outside cooking or something like that? Um, do you see anyone? Do you see your neighbor or perhaps any like different wildlife? Do you see squirrels or rabbits or even your neighbors or um, friends across the street or something like that? Um, just write down everything that you see. Try to fill up at least one whole page in your journal, okay? So try to have at least a page of information that you see. So go ahead and take that time now and I'll show you some examples and we'll head outside, okay? Hi guys, so here's a quick little tutorial on how to make your own steam journal at home. So you should have been given some just blank paper um, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it this way and match the corners. Let's go ahead and do that. And then with your next page, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take it so that the, pay, um, the corners match up here. And then you're going to fold the page over it again, just matching up the corners. And if it's not perfect, don't worry. Um, it's totally fine. It works just as well the same. Um, so go ahead and do that. And you're just going to keep repeating doing that um, until you have all your pages together. And so this, all your binding is together. Um, if you want, if you have a hole punch at home, you can go ahead and punch some holes into it and maybe tie some string around it. If not, no worries. Mine does not. I just have mine folded just like that. But it works well. Um, it keeps all your pages together and stuff like that. So here you go. This is how you make your own steam journal and have fun. Decorate the front of it. Get creative and draw some different doodles and stuff like that on the cover. So here you are. Alrighty guys, now that you're outside, take the next two to three minutes and really just sit here and take in the fresh air and start jotting down or drawing different things that you see around you. Um, think about, the, again, like the sounds, what you smell, things that you feel on the ground, um, just really anything around you, just really try to take in different observations. So go ahead and do that for the next two to three minutes. Great job of writing down all those different observations in your STEAM journal. All those observations are just like the ones that scientists make every day. Making observations is an essential task that scientists have to do. Scientists use observation to collect and record data. They also draw from these observations all around them to make hypotheses and theories on different things. Scientists observe in many ways. They observe using their senses, just like you did in your backyard. But they also can use tools to help them observe. They use tools such as magnifying glasses, thermometers, satellites, microscopes, telescopes, or even stethoscopes. A good example of a scientist observing 
is think about when you go to the doctor's office and you're not feeling well. One of the very first things that the doctor or the nurse does when you get there is they ask for your height, they maybe have you step on a scale and they take your temperature, and then they maybe ask you or your parents a ton of different questions about how you're feeling. That is simply just the nurse or the doctor using their observation skills to get an accurate diagnosis of how you're feeling. That way they can give you the best medicine and help you feel better. Alrighty guys, the next part of the activity, what we're gonna do is I need you to go and ask your parents permission or maybe go with your parents or an older sibling and we're gonna go on a miniature nature walk. So go around your neighborhood, your backyard, or even just a walk up and down your block. Um, and I want you to collect and observe different plants or nature items that you see along the way. And I want you to pick up, try to pick up at least five different um, unique looking leaves or nature items that you can find along the way. If your leaves on your trees are not there yet, I understand it is the beginning of spring, but just try to find five unique different nature items that you can take home with you. I want you to go ahead and try to do that and go ahead and try to take your journal along with you and stop and maybe if you find like a pretty flower or something in your neighbor's yard, don't pick it without their permission, but maybe like sketch it into your notebook um and just anything that you unique try to use those observation skills that you just practice by sitting here you just really try to observe what's around you um but take this time also on your walk just to observe the area and take in some fresh air okay nature walk. I have two different flowers and I didn't find very many big leaves that weren't like the older ones but I found lots of different like needles from bushes and this one was from a bush too um, and lots of different little spreadings. I found a couple clovers that were cool so now we're gonna do an art project with them. Alrighty so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your notebook open like this and so for my first one I'm gonna take this leaf here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up to the next page and we're gonna slide our leaf underneath it and press it flat like that. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your crayon and I found it easier to unravel some of the wrapping of it and then you're going to hold it over it and so that leaves an imprint. You're gonna take your crayon and go like this over the paper it's kind of hard to do with one hand, so I'll do it and then I'll show you again. So you're going to trace over it just like this so that you can see the imprint of your leaf on, from that page on here. So here it transferred over all of the different like unique little branches that came off that leaf and stuff like that. So now you have a whole imprint of it into your journal. So that after you have the imprint of it um, on this side of the page, I want you to go ahead and write down some different observations. Um, in the packet, I included uh, a, a guide to maybe figuring out what type of leaf it is, or maybe you know what type of like br uh, bush that you pulled it from, and just try to identify, like give it a fun name even on this side of it, and just use your observation skills and write down um, some different observations about the plant. So I could say that this one is kind of like a dark green, it has some spunky edges on it, um, and that it has like a weird texture. You can even write down how it smells. Um, just use your observation skills again and just write them down on the side. So here's another example of a log that I did in my journal, and that was with this leaf group that I found right here and using the guide that I had printed out um, from my kit packet um, I determined that I think it might be a green ash leaf um, because of the way that it's headed up and it's in a group of six leaves right there um, but I also wrote down that it was just a light green color and it came in a group of six leaves and all these little veins in here um, were facing away from the stem so I, that's an observation that I made that helped me determine what kind of leaf I thought it was. Alrighty guys and then after you are done logging them all into your steam journal um, some of them if they don't trace very well just go ahead and draw a picture of them like I know some of the flowers and stuff like that are kind of more harder to trace um, but they still you can still get a little trace out of them but you can go ahead and just draw those in there too if you would like but after you're done doing that um, another fun activity you can do with um, your nature items and your crayons is you can make a collage of sorts. So here's one that I did with my leaves. 
um, and I just use multiple different colored crayons and just trace them over in whatever pattern I want and it makes this pretty little um, collage imprint of all your nature finds here. Alrighty guys, well I hope you had fun with your steam activity today and hopefully you have a pretty collage and a nice start on a nature log here for you in your little steam journal. Um, and I will see you again next week. So have fun, stay safe, and stay healthy. Alrighty guys, I know some of you um, might not be able to go outside, whether it's because it's raining or just other reasons. Um, that is no problem at all. You can still participate in this project. Um, what you're just going to do instead for the first half of the project and spending the, th the two to three minutes outside, just spend that time in either your kitchen or your living room and still have um, space from one another and just kind of sit and have a quiet space that you can just sit and observe for those two to three minutes and instead of thinking about different nature sounds and stuff like that that you hear around you think about all the sounds and the smells and the stuff that is also around you whether it's your kitchen or your living room or even your bedroom um you are still able to observe around you that's the nice thing about observing like scientists is that they can do they do it in all different types of environments some people do it in offices while some people do it in the jungle and observe those different ways um, so if you're sitting there observing, try to think about, um, what different, like, do you smell food coming from the kitchen or fresh air through the windows or, or do you see a family member or a sibling and do you hear different noises? Is someone playing a game in the background? Is it a little sibling with a toy? Um, how does the texture of the carpet or the chair that you're sitting in? And then on your scavenger hunt around your house, you can find different unique items that have different textures that you can add to your steam log. Instead of doing like a nature log, you can do a scavenger hunt log from inside your house. So whether it is like unique texture of a wall or a carpet or a couch cushion or maybe a basket or something like that, you can do the same thing where you take your crayon and a piece of your paper. It's kind of the nice thing about having a journal that can hold the part is that you can hold the paper sideways. And you can hold it up to the unique item. This one's this texture of a wall. You hold it up to the item, like so. See, I've got the texture of these three different bricks. And that way you have that to log in your journal. And you can still make your observations on this side of the page of um, the different textures. You can write down all the different colors that you see into it. You can do this also with, like I said, baskets toys, anything that has just kind of like a funky texture to it um, that will also work nicely into your journal.